In this kind of small phone factor, you can actually get a very high quality 360 footage. Cinema 5D at Interbe 2019 is brought to you by Lawa, unique cinema and photography lenses. Fomex, devoted to remarkable light. Tilta, arm your camera. And Panasonic, cinematic moments for your production. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D, and I'm here with Dan from Kanda. Dan, how are you? Yeah, very good. My pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. And you have a new product. I have to show it here. Yeah. Uh, just that I get the name right. What's the name of the product? Uh, Coolcam. Coolcam AK. Okay, 8K, 360 degrees camera. This is not in the market yet. Yeah. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about what is so special about it. Because there are some 360 8K mm -hmm. cameras. What is so special about this particular one? Uh, yes, I think in the past, uh, the, pre the model before this one, the AK is mainly uh, reserved for professional VR camera, like the one we have here. So we have six lenses and that is large. You mean the traditional like multi-round uh, eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we kind of, for the first time, we push the AK VR into a consumer level product. Yeah, so I think this is what is special about this one. So in this kind of small phone factor, you can actually get a very high quality 360 footage. Okay, I'm not your target audience. Uh, I'm sorry about this because 360 for me is something which is, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not connected to it yet. Can I use it if I'm just a traditional filmmaker? Can, or this is always a 360 thing, or I can use it also for, let's call it, normal use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides of providing a 360 capturing, it will actually provide a lot of freedom for normal user. You have the freedom to reframe everything. Now, we capture the whole thing in AK, and it is fairly easy for you to reframe and zoom and maybe pull out something like a 4K, 2D, or traditional video out from it. So this will allow you to have a lot of freedom when you are filming. And then another inherent advantage is that 360 can do stabilization much better than the traditional one because we have the whole sphere to rotate and twist. So you naturally you can hold it and then walk around or even run and then get very smooth footage without using a gimbal. How do you try to achieve this high quality when it comes to, I mean, photos, it's also, you can take normal photos, of course. Uh, JPEG, RAW, or what uh, form? RAW, RAW. It, it can take JPEG and RAW. And for RAW, actually, we have a, a called DNG8 or RAW Plus. We actually burst take uh, several frames uh, in a, continuously, and then we align and then kind of merge, merge it to get better quality. The noise will be reduced quite a lot. So in order to do the stacking right without a tripod, you need to kind of calculate each picture and try to align it automatically. So, so this is where uh, computational photography comes in. Okay, and when it comes to video, first of all, what is the sensor, the actual sensor size here uh, is? We, we have two 1 over 1.7 inches sensor. And the lens here uh, in terms of uh, uh, perspective? Uh, FOB is 200. We'll have 200 degree of FOB. Uh, and aperture-wise? I don't remember it correctly, but I think it's something like 2.2 or 2.4. Okay, so you're trying to make it like a fast lens? Yeah, yeah. I'll try to make it and fast. this will record in what format? I'm talking about video now. Uh, it can record in uh, 264 or 265. And we also support 10 bits. Really? That's internal 10 bit? Uh, internal it's 10, 10, 10 bit. Uh, 420. Uh, uh, up to what? Um, 200 mega BPS. So Interesting. How about pricing and uh, availability? In the US, it's something about 548, something like that. Okay, and how about availability? Uh, we, will, we, will try to, uh, we are aiming to shift the cameras on December this year. Yeah. Last question, again back to the technical aspect. Mm -hmm. I see that there is also an audio input in this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. This isn't purpose, I mean, because you could just equip it with a normal microphone, mm -hmm. but obviously you are emphasizing audio. Why is that? Uh, because I think I, we think that a lot of people, a vlogger, will use this camera. And using an external uh, camera is quite important for a vlogger. And as I explained, the v this camera will give vlogger a lot of freedom. They can take the thing in front of you and take the host themselves uh, simultaneously. 
and then you connect the microphone. I think it, it is, and then you have a very high level of stabilization. So this is, I think it's a good tool for uh, vlogging. Actually quite interesting from what you're describing, you know, I'm very tempted to see if it's for news gathering, mm -hmm. for future news gathering. You can imagine, you know, making the interview. Oh uh, yeah, making the interview. And yeah. actually, yeah, with on camera, you have yeah. both the, the, the yeah. person yeah. you're interviewing. Yeah. Something to explore in the future. Yeah. Okay, Dan, thank you very much for your thank time. You. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And guys, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Thank you.